Grade 4 math, number 63, fractions, subtract parts of a whole. All right, I want to do a real quick review. I like to do this at the beginning of each video. I want you to remember that the top is the numerator of the fraction and the bottom is the denominator of the fraction, okay? This is how many pieces you have of how many pieces it was cut into, okay? A pie was cut into two parts and you've got one of the parts, all right? In a multiplication problem equation, these are the factors, and that's the multiple, the 6, okay? Think multiple 6s would be 6, 12, 18, okay? That's multiple 6s, so they're the answers in a multiplication problem, okay? So that brings us here. A common denominator is a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions. Remember, multiple, okay? It's a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions. Fractions have common denominators when they rep represent items that were cut into the same amount of pieces or parts, okay? So, let's look at this pie that Emma made, okay? She served pie for dessert, and she sliced the pie into eight pieces, eight equal pieces. Three pieces were eaten. What fraction of the pie is left, okay? Well, what did she start with? She started with eight eighths of a pie. Eight pieces of eight. Three were eaten. Three pieces of eight were eaten, and that left five eighths. Five pieces of the eight. See? You can look at a fraction like this. You can put the word parts there, and you can put of here, and it'll help you realize what that fraction is. It's five parts of eight, okay? So if we were to look at my little model things here, we could see that the red one is one entire piece. These are all little eighths, okay? See how they're all little eighths? There's five eighths, here's three eighths. When you put them together, we had eight eighths, one whole, see? When the numerator and the denominator are exactly the same, it means it's one whole. Okay, that makes sense, right? Eight pieces of pie that were cut into eight, that's a whole pie. So three were eaten, and it left us with five-eighths of the pie. See? Okay. Well, let's look at this one. These all have common denominators. All the denominators are the same because they're all cut into the same size. See? If you had three-fourths, that's one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth, Okay, and you took one of those fourths away, if you took this one away, then it would look like this, and you'd have one, two fourths. What we're doing is we're subtracting the numerator, three minus one equals two, and we're just sliding the denominator across. See that? Look at this one. We've got one, two, three, four, five pieces, three are blue. Three fifths of these pieces are blue. We're going to take away this one. See, it's that middle one. We're going to take away this one-fifth, and it'll look like this. If we take this one away, then this would look like this, right? See, it's just these. So the denominators are the same. So we do three, take away one, equals two. And all we did was slide the denominator across. See that? The five just slid across. All right, let's look at this one. This is split into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Five of the six pieces are orange. Five parts of the six are orange. If we take away those two right here, two, six, see, there's two of them. It's right here. It would look like this, see? If we took these two away, see how it would look like that? So five, six, take away two, six, equals three, six. Do you notice that 3 6 is also a half? Look at that. If you have three parts of something that's split into six things, into six parts, you'd have half of it. That's called an equivalent fraction. Okay? We talked about those. So, 5 6 take away 2 6 equals 3 6. 5 take away 2 equals 3. And we slid the denominator across. Okay? Let's look at this one. It's a little bigger. All right? This is split into 12 parts, and 9 are blue. 9 twelfths are blue. If we took away 
this group of five right here, okay? It's this group of five, okay? We're going to take away this chunk right here, okay? Five twelfths. Then that would leave just this four twelfths left over, see? Nine twelfths minus five twelfths equals four twelfths. Nine minus five equals four. And we just slid the denominator across because we were taking away the same size pieces of the same thing. See? So, remember, when you're comparing fractions to each other, the bigger the denominator is, the smaller the pieces are. See? One-third is a lot greater than one-eighth. See? Big denominator equals more parts in smaller parts. Okay? The bigger this denominator gets, the smaller the parts get, and there's more of them. Okay? So, that's how you do subtraction for parts of a whole thing. Okay? I'm going to continue talking about fractions. I hope you stay with me. This is my fourth grade series for math. It's best if you watched it from the first video all the way through so that you don't miss any parts. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.